One thing I really enjoy about being a student is the rewards we receive. Getting rewards for showing up on time, having my journal marked, doing my homework, etc. is again also making me motivated. The rewards down in room 7 are a fun and interesting twist to normal rewards. We get pizza, arcade machines, people get to play FIFA, there's loads of games for people to play and it's just overall fun. It's a simple reward like that that gets you motivated for class and eager to learn and listen and do your homework on time. There are rewards for being a part of the student council as well. I have a badge that I keep on my jumper and I got rewarded for being a class leader. After the yard we get a 5 minute period to get our books from our lockers we own in our base room. Our lockers are a great help to our everyday lives. There are times we get to go to the outside classroom and read books. The outdoor classroom is, um, feels like a classroom but it gives us the opportunity to get outside into the fresh air. We are all there and we can all socialise while also taking a break from work and feeling way better mentally about ourselves. At this point in school, the relationships between teachers and students really start to build and strengthen. You'll start interacting with your year heads about a random topic, talking to the classes and they about what you did over the midterm, and they actually listen to you and you can keep a conversation going. I had a business CBA and that was to make and sustain a business for about three to four weeks. Myself and a group of others managed to make 500 euro together and we had to keep all of it. It started off as just thinking of an idea and see how much you can make with it and I decided to sell normal homemade chocolate chip cookies. We got to keep all the 500 and split between us. It helped us experience what it would be like to work in the future and you felt properly involved. It felt as if you were in charge of your business and you could see how far you could go. Going into first year I was extremely excited to have a locker. It's like my own little personal cube that I could decorate and put my books in, put my timetable up in, even put pictures in. Um, it was really, really fun to have a locker and have that little private space. I learned the way around my school quickly because of how small it is. It's just a really easy building to get to know. And even now, sometimes I do get lost, but it's, it's really easy to figure out where you are. When I first got into the school, we did a taster program for the first few weeks. Um, the taster program really helped me choose the option subjects I wanted. Um, there was a few choices, there was business, art, metalwork, woodwork, um, German and coding. Um, I chose coding because it's what, it's what I would like to do as a future career. I would like to be a software engineer and hopefully coding goes far and I do become a software engineer. In this school we also have a class car league. It's a running system that, get, that gets class prizes like a trip away or a year ahead will set something up to make kids want to do it. Our student council is also very helpful to the school. also makes the students feel like their voices are being heard. There's also an art club after school so that the people who love the subject can do further choices on after school. Art is also everywhere around the school. There's also a breakfast club this is for the students that don't really like to eat when they've just woken up. There's a chess club as well, where the students play each other and see who's the best at chess. Sometimes the students will even play against the teachers. This is also really exciting and fun to watch. In PE, the gym is amazing. This is for the people that don't really enjoy the sports, but they enjoy working out and playing ping pong, or sometimes we might not go to PE. If one of the teachers aren't in, we, they might take us on a walk to Tom and North Park, which is also great fun. Homework club is where a student could be struggling with their homework, and they can always come to homework club to ask the teachers to help with their homework. It also helps the teachers understand where they are and they can give a voice to the students. So I have four boys in the school at the moment um, and when I came to the open night a few years ago with the eldest boy I got a lovely feeling about the school. It was very welcoming, very open um, and then I decided that this would be the place for the four boys and they all have different personalities and they all still come here and they love coming to school every morning um, and it, there's, there's great lines of communication with this school to be honest. They have um, Nothing is insurmountable. If you have a problem everything is dealt with promptly and professionally and it, you just feel reassured that no matter what the problem is, it's always going to be sorted out very quickly with either the year head or the principal or whoever. There's actually a great feeling about the school, you know, there really is. There's a great support team here for everybody. It's very inclusive it's, um, and also there's a fantastic um, career guidance. 
uh, crew for the older lads like my son now is leaving this year and he is just the support that they give them going forward. Every boy is individually looked after and it makes a huge, huge difference for them at that time of their lives. And um, also financially it's an absolutely fantastic school because you pay the amount at the year, it's set, different years have different prices, but that's it then. You don't pay, you don't have to buy books. You don't have to have all that hassle of going out and getting books and stuff like that. They really kind of try and keep the cost down to a minimum. But you don't feel as if the lads are missing out on anything. You know, everything is catered for. They have everything here. All the subjects, all the levels, everything that needs to be done is really, you know, catered towards all the boys and their, their interests. So, and my youngest now, he's just uh, in second year and obviously he started during COVID times and even that, like it was difficult for everybody, but the school absolutely went out of their way to try and make it as easy for all the boys to come together in second year, having not really got to know each other. And they're flying it, you know, they really are. So like I've experienced every year in the school at this stage and I, I still, I just, I can't fault it. I can't find fault to be perfectly honest. It's an open and honest school and it's here for every boy. And that's all I can say.